Bethesda must be bored, people. Because seemingly, they are fixing glitches with their games. What is going on? Today, guys, we test what still works in regards to glitches within Starfield. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So first up, guys, we are heading to Aquila City. Man, oh man, what are Bethesda doing? What were they thinking? I mean, they must be bored. They must be, I don't know, a lack of something to do around the office because they're fixing problems with the game. Glitches, exploits. This isn't like Bethesda. It really ain't. So we're going to try Aquila City. I think this one, I heard people say it's been fixed, but I want to see for myself because Aquila City, not for the credits, but the ammo. This is what everybody used for the ammo. And wow, it's dark here. My ship's still looking good. Okay, so let's go. Oh man, the puddle, the legendary puddle, the legendary puddle. So I've still got stuff here. I might as well take this now. I might as well take all this junk now. <laughs> I need to make my money somewhere. I better pick all this crap up and sell it somewhere else. Okay, so it was, you'd walk back from here, third person by the way. Walk back. Well, I don't I actually don't think you have to be third person here, but and you crouch there somewhere. Nope, <laughs> nope. There's no chest here. That's it. Shepard's getting it. I'm just gonna go kick his ass. I'm just gonna have to go and kick his ass. I mean, like, what were they thinking? Ah, <sighs> so this one I'm guessing don't work either. Um, I think this one may be third person. Yeah, somewhere around here. I think they've all been fixed, guys. I think they've all been fixed. So the third one was over here. And it was just by these rocks at the bottom of these steps. Uh, no, nothing. Neither. No. So a curiosity, infinite ammo glitch has been fixed. Wow, so on to the next one, I guess. Okay, so on to the Eklund Star. Yeah, this is where you could get the uh, 160,000 credits every minute or so. This one I posted on YouTube and it went massive. It went kind of viral. Everyone was loving this because it was ridiculous. It basically just glitched through the wall. It would jump around, grab that chest and yeah. Then we sat at Venus, or oh, Venus, sit there for six hours, come back, rinse and repeat. It was amazing. I mean, if there's going to fix anything, it would have been this one. This one makes more sense to me. But then again, ammo, because the ammo economy in this game is so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, so yeah, the Stroud Eklund Star Yard. This was the one, guys. 160k credits. I know this is fixed. You ain't going to be able to walk through here. Oh, so you can? Okay, so they haven't fixed that. Wow. That's surprising. The chest gun. <laughs> the chest has moved the chest. Really? <laughs> they really moved the chest. Or the chest somewhere else. Is the chest somewhere else? Where could they have put it? The sneaky bastards. It's not there. Saves the jumping around. I might as well go into photo mode and have a look. So there's no chest here. Oh my days. So where is it? Is there even chests anymore? I'm not sure there is. So what have they done to fix that? They're cheeky bastards. Look how sexy my scorpion looks. <laughs> Bad docked up. So yeah, where the hell, or what have they done? They've just obviously got around uh, the chests. I mean, it was kind of silly anyway, vendors having their own chests hidden outside of the map. I mean, what kind of system is that? But hey, you can't do the Eklund Star Yard money glitch anymore. So wow, that does suck. Okay, so on to the next one, I guess. Okay, so we are at New Atlantis and you know what? I really don't remember this all looking yellow, but 
I don't know. I've played a lot of cyberpunk since then. Uh, let's see if we can glitch through the wall and get this dude's chest. I wonder if his chest has moved as well. It probably has. Then again, I probably guess that he can't even glitch through this wall anymore as well because this was quite a popular one as well. We could get 72k every literally every like five minutes. Uh, so you need a melee weapon for this. And if you guys don't know, if you jump and block with a melee weapon, you glitch forward like that. And if you do it right in your time, it right can glitch straight through this wall. Uh, but I don't think this is going to work. So, ooh, oh, actually, you know what? This could. It always takes me about five minutes to do this anyway. So if I get it down, I'll try it for the next 10 minutes. If I get it down, I'll let you know. So, guys, it still works. You can still get through there. I'm not going to lie. I almost give up hope then. That took me about 15 minutes. But I got so close at one stage, I thought I'd keep trying. And I did. And I've got through. But as you can see, guys, his chest has gone. There is nothing here for you to loot. Nada. What the heck? Oh, chop. Can I shoot him from down there? Nah. But yeah, gone. Completely gone, guys. Okay, so we'll check another chest I know of on New Atlantis. So I'll cut the video, guys, and I'll zoom in a quick second. Okay, so this one basically uh, allowed us to get ammo, allowed us to get credits. It was another vendor's chest underneath the map, but it wasn't one I saw many, many people cover. So we're going to try and do it right now. Now, there's a couple of ways of getting out of the map. I'll use the easy way. Uh, it doesn't require any special skills or perks. So you just want to come this way past the UC uh, distribution center where you get all the bullets from and the materials and that. And you want to come up this way because we're going to get on the roof and we're going to get out the map. I don't even know if you can still get out the map this way, but we're going to find out. Okay, so you come up here. I should go a little lower. I just want to jump onto that roof there. So it's going to be using my jetpack now. I'm um, when I first posted this. Um, I was in the first stage of my jetpack and it was shocking. But hey, easy work now. So yep, across here, guys. And then we're going to go this way. Just alike. So what was like then? What was that? Okay, so we're just going to go across here. I'm going to head towards that wall there with the roots and if you can jump straight through here oh well, you can there we go okay so do you see distribution vendor the chest was right here just on that red platform there uh, but it looks like the chest has also gone <laughs> jeez they ain't, they ain't messed around with this they're basically every they must have just gone over youtube for like two or three weeks and took a list of every single vendor chest I thought you know what I'm just gonna have to change up that system and the way that work but yep you go up there and uh, the vest the, the chest would be there but it ain't guys oh well so I've got another couple of glitches to test guys and that's what we'll do we have um, a couple in regards to ships and maybe a few more so I'll cut the video guys and I'll get back to you in a quick second okay so we are back in the game and let's try the dupe glitch so you just want to come to any service tech wow it's buggy any ship service tech um, and how this works is quite easy and this could actually be used to make some money if it still works that is so what you need is you need a ship that you don't care about so go out and steal one go out and buy a real cheap one and what you do do is you duplicate the expensive one over the cheap one sell it for money but hey you could use this for a million and one things but let's just see if it still works so what you do guys is so as you'll see I, if I dupe my scorpion it would overwrite my frontier and how this works is, and I think on PC you need to plug in a controller. I don't think it works on mouse and keyboard. So you want to press the tab across button. So that is RB on Xbox. And you also want to press the ship builder button, which is X at the same time. So RB and X at the same time. And what should happen is, let's see if it works. There we go. We go into the editor. Now what happens now is we need to make a simple change and save it. So let's just say add a weapon. Uh, any weapon will do. It don't really matter. So let's just put you on. Let's slot you down. Just like so, and I guess I better assign you before oh, well, I'm gonna get errors and rubbish and shit. Okay, so it's assigned. Okay, so if we back out now and save this, we should ha now have two scorpions. Yep, it still works. So the ship duplication glitch still works, so that's great. So, what about adding parts that you haven't got unlocked to your ship? So, let's go into shipbuilder, guys. How this works is so you need for certain things, you need. Let's see if we go to the very bottom of weapons. We need that starship design, certain ranks in it to apply certain parts. 
So as you can see here, there's plenty of weapons here, guys, that I can't install because I don't have that starship design, rank three or four. So all of these I can't install. So how we get, well, how you used to be able to get away with this is, so what you do is guys, you'd find, well, get your cursor, see the cursor there, as close to the ship as you can get. And then, so like you want it, so it says, see what it says, add there. You want it to say add, not edit. So when you hover above an item on your ship, it'll say edit, but you want it to say add. Then what you do guys is get as close to the ship as you can. Any of these little cracks would be perfect, press add. And then guys, you need to find something that highlights red like that, because it won't fit there. So what you do is you press A on it, so accept it, and then you can scroll down through the weapons to the very bottom to the ones that are locked. Obviously the fatter ones won't fit, but like that, so if I clicked on even that, so if I clicked on that, now I can move it and I can slot that on. Now you see that is one that I do not have unlocked. The 280B missile launcher, let's have a look. There you go. I haven't got it unlocked. I can't apply this. It will not let me click on it. But again, if I find that small gap, or well, you can get as close to the ship as you want. And you don't have to be, be in a gap, but as long as you get the thing highlighted in red. So you click on add, make sure it says add. And you want to go up to one of the parts you have unlocked, so you can click on them. But it needs to come up red, just like so. So if I click on that, then press down on my D-pad, I can scroll to the very bottom, guys, and apply any of the lock parts. It doesn't matter what they are, so I'm just going to put this one on. There we go. Simple as that put that where I want and this works guys with um, this will work with any part any part you have not just weapons guys any part absolutely any part and I don't forget you are applying these parts to your ship so it will still cost you money but you can still use and abuse this you don't need that starship design rank so this is a great great glitch and it still does work so that's what we like to see people I've got errors, so I'd have to assign these to my ship, which I ain't going to do because I ain't bothered about it. But hey, just so you know, guys, this still works. So again, if you don't know how this is done, get as close to you, your ship with your cursor as possible. So let's say right there, you can use all the camera angles you want, just like there. Let's zoom in a bit. So let's go to about there. So if I press add, I'm going to go to, let's say, so let's say an engine I haven't got, I know there's a few, like a fuel tank, okay, so a fuel tank. No, sorry, my bad, I got all the fuel tanks. Let's go to engines. I know there's engines at the bottom that I do not have. There we go, we've got quite a few. So all these we have not got. So what we do, guys, is we'd find a spot where we can get them to highlight red. That's how this glitch works. So if I go there, let's try it there. No, it's not working there. It's probably because it's the back of the ship. Wow, that's a big old dirty engine that is. How about if we go, say that maybe there we go okay so it highlights red so i press a on that then i scroll down i now guys have all of these uh locked parts i can apply them to my ship i can put it wherever i want as long as it fits we're fine there we go i can put it there and there we go see if i hover above it you can see bottom left i require a rank three in that starship design but it doesn't matter, it's on my ship. And now I can use an abuse. I can back out and save this if I want to. I don't want to. Oh, yes, I know about flight tech errors and too much this, that, and the other. Yeah, too much excess power and force. Don't worry about all that, guys. You'll get that sorted out. My ship's got so many engines on it, so many weapons and all sorts. But yes, it works, guys. You'd back out here, you'd save it. It will cost you that money, but you're good. You'll be good. So, yep, they both still work perfectly fine. So that's cool. Now, what I will say is there's loads of videos out there about XP farms and building, crafting things on planets. I do believe these will all still work. They are not glitches. They're just genuine ways to play the game. So if you want to build up uh, farm materials, craft certain things and get the XP, that's completely fine. So, yes, I actually made a video on a couple of these. I'll link them in the video description if you're interested in them. Okay, so on to the next glitch, and this one I believe will still work, even though it hasn't been tested. I'll test it right here, right now. I've seen it a bit on YouTube here and there, haven't posted it myself, but it's still a, well, it's kind of a glitch, kind of an exploit. It's in regards to you coming to any planet you want, where you can build yourself an outpost, create a weapon crates on it, we'll create a quick save, load back up the quick save, the weapon crates will be full of weapons, you can do this to farm OP weapons, legendaries, you name it guys. So I'm just going to quickly do it with um, just a couple of weapon crates. So I've got my outpost already, got my landing pad. I'm going to put the game now on very hard. This is also part of the glitch as far as I'm aware. This supposedly helps 
in regards to um, spawning better loot. But I'm not too sure about that. But we'll see anyway. So Okay, so how this works is simply go into that build mode, guys. And then you simply want to put down weapon crates. Now, I haven't got many materials to do this. But hey, I think the bigger the crates or weapon cases, the bigger the cases, the, the better weapons you get. So you just want to put down as many as you want to do this with. Just drop uh, three down, just like so. That's all I can do. So now from here, guys, it creates a quick save. Simple as that. So go into your menu, go to quick save, press it, simple. Now, when I reload that quick save back up, guys, those chests will be full of that loot. That's simple. That's how people are farming weapons, uh, OP weapons, legendaries, this, that, and the other. Now, for me, it hasn't been that great, but I'm seeing a lot of people having some amazing luck doing this. So, hey, do what you got to do, guys. Now, if these crates are full, because normally they're empty once you make them. And if these crates are full, then this glitch still works. So, let's just open them up. There we go. Yep. There we go. And I'm probably not going to get any legendaries because my luck's pretty bad on this game. But, hey glitch definitely still works now if you don't get something you want um, you can just simply dismantle all these boxes so you go back into your builder mode uh, click on modify me hover above them and hold x on xbox and whatever it is on pc and then simply guys just repeat the process it really is as easy as that now before you do all this i'd recommend you making a manual save anyway just in case okay so the last glitch we're going to check today guys and see if it still works and that is firing elites elite enemies for those legendaries now if this does work i've got a great farm where there's multiple elites in the same spot and i'll link it in the video description so all you need to do guys is land on any random planet more or less go to an outpost where it's going to be like have packs of uh, enemies in there there's bound to be an elite there now you want to kill all the other enemies and find yourself an elite you're not an elite because they have like three health bars and a shield bar what you want to do guys is put your game on very easy so put your game on very easy just like so like i have and take their health down so where they're more or less near a one shot like this guy is this guy's more or less at a one shot so now what you want to do guys is you want to put the game on very hard just like so now you want to create another save. So create a save. I'm going to save over that. Just like oh, so, so now the game's on very hard. So if I kill him. We'll see what loot he has. Now how this works is guys. If he doesn't have great loot. So he's got bad loot. I don't want none of that. So now what I do guys is I load back up that save I just made. And you do this guys until you get... A legendary that you want and this is how you can get legendaries in this game quite easy and like i said if this works i've got a farm uh i've already posted it on my youtube channel where there's multiple of these elites in the same spot like upwards of five so you can just get them all down to real low health put it on hard save it kill them all off if you don't get what you want simply just load back up that save really is that simple guys uh, but you gotta just see if it actually reloading the save changes things so remember space adept negotiator okay so let's just remember that remember that loop i'm going to load back up that save a couple more times and i'll do this guys i'll do take my 10 minutes out of my day to do this but i'll just cut the, to the chase if i do get a legendary we know it still works if i don't there we go i'll let you guys know so what i did guys was i advanced to another save i had which had more elites in it and yes guys i can confirm this does still work so there we have it guys so the legendary elite farm definitely still works guys so again i'll link that video in the video description where you'll find multiple early enemies where you can farm these legendaries from so that's cool to know and there we have it guys the end of the video has arrived now if you've missed any other glitches you know of that they have nerfed please let me know and everyone else know down below in that comment section but guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one